peace be upon you, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a toolbox app called Live View. This app lets you create a live data display screen for various uses. You can even integrate this screen into Simplicity Sim View using Sim Edit, but I'll cover that part in another video. As you can see, the simulator is already running. Let's start by opening the Toolbox TCW file with a double click to launch the system editor. Next, double click the G1 component to open its editor. Now click the Live View icon on the toolbar to open the Live View tool. Create a new Live View screen give it any name you like, and add a description if you want. Click OK to open the screen editor. Let's add a live value display and label it. You can assign a variable name pointer here too. Now let's change the appearance a bit. Next, we'll add a set point button. You'll see how useful this can be. I'll adjust its size. Don't worry if you make a change you don't like. You can always go back using the back arrow. Let's add something with animation, like an analog meter, for example. There are lots of properties here to configure, so feel free to experiment. Let's add some text to the label pointer. and link a variable to the variable pointer. If you already know the variable name, you can type it in directly. Otherwise, click the Browse button to search for it. Click Next, choose the data source. For the component, select G1. In the Variable Selection window, click Add, choose your variable, then click OK and Finish. Repeat these same steps for the variable name pointer. Change the display name and select the variable you want to monitor in the Live View window we created. Now, for the Set Point button, we'll also change its display name and connect it to a variable. for example, the ventilation motor 88BA1, so we can observe its status directly in SimView. This variable is discrete, meaning it has two states, one true or zero false. Let's add another set point button for an analog variable, for instance, the exhaust temperature. We'll set the analog range from 0 to 500 and connect it to the exhaust temperature variable. As you can see, it's very straightforward and easy to use.
Let's update the display name. Then launch the Live View window by clicking the Play button from the toolbar. Connect to the controller, and that's it. Now, let's try it out. Start the Simplicity project by double-clicking the SimView shortcut. Click Start, then Yes to launch the project. Once SimView opens, go to the G1 tab, and under the Startup tab, select Motors. Let's place the Live View and SimView windows side by side so we can watch the 88BA1 variable change its state. As you can see, it's red, which means it's in the true state or has a value of 1. Now let's force the value of BA1 to false. The password is either 123456 or 654321. Watch the animation update in SimView. And since we're working in a simulation environment, we can practice as much as we want, safely and without limits. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.